Yeah, Steve and Tisha, check this out. On this sign outside DMV headquarters, you can see no driver's licenses or IDs are issued here, but we're learning that was not the case for state employees who got invited to skip the lines elsewhere and come here to get their real ID. Most of us know what it's like to wait in line at the DMV, just like Julie Daniels did today. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, but I mean, hour and 10 minutes is hour and 10 minutes. This summer, as people waited for hours in the heat outside DMV offices trying to get their real ID, hundreds of state employees responded to an invitation coming to DMV headquarters in downtown Raleigh to get theirs. I mean, we sent emails out to other state agencies allowing them to come. You're here, you're close to the area. If you'd like to come by, please do come by and get your real ID here. State Department of Transportation spokesperson Patrice Bethea says opening this temporary office to employees of state government, one of the state's largest employers, is just like the mobile units the DMV deploys to other large employers, such as Bank of America, Camp Lejeune, Pfizer, and SAS. Daniels, who spent precious time in long lines, not too happy to learn others didn't. They should have to wait like the rest of us do. Bethea says the temporary office run out of the DMV's training room from January to August was open three hours a day for five days a month. All of it, she says, meant to alleviate the rush on resources at its other offices brought on by the federal government's October 2020 deadline to get those real IDs. We're just trying to get people as many real IDs as possible, um, but there is no secret to this thing at all. And this is still peak season for the DMV. They tell me that wait times are averaging just over an hour. They have now shut down this temporary office and most of its mobile units while they work to cut down on those lines. We're live in Raleigh. Andrea Blanford, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Yeah.